Why does this happen to me? Right, guys 7 30 it is monday morning i have a huge day ahead of me uh i have to catch an uber in about 10 minutes to go out to the east side to pick up my car from the auto body shop i stayed here at my parents house uh last night so that because i didn't have a vehicle i knew i needed to go to the east side and my dogs were already here so i'm hanging out with them for a little bit eating some breakfast catching my uber headed to the east side and then i have a jam-packed day out in columbus so travel day you guys know i hate those so keep you guys posted the whole time we'll see what we get waiting for my uber now How's it going? Good, good. I'll go right ahead. Is Rick here? Yeah. Great. If I went again, I would avoid some of the major cities. I mean, it was cool. The touristy stuff and everything was awesome. Yeah. You know, going to see the Coliseum and yeah. doing all that. But uh, one of the last days we rented a Vespa out there and took it for four hours through like the countryside, like the Chianti Valleys and stuff, like did some like wineries and stuff out there. And that was easily the coolest part of the entire yeah, trip. Yeah, that's, that's more like my yeah. yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. Take care. So I hit a cone. So this whole area was all wiped out. All right, I gotta do check-ins at all the facilities today. First one, pit stop at the east side since I'm out this way already. I'm just gonna check in on the staff real quick. I have a couple things I need to pick up. Um, from there, I'll be headed to Columbus. What's up, gang? Doing the thing. That was Italy. Dude, it was Italian. <laughs> it was Italian. Hello, dog. What good dogs. Look at all these good dogs. What up? How are you? Oh, I'm good. Welcome to Heights Canine. I know. How you like? Is this your, what day is this for you? This is Casey. She now works here. She did private lessons with me a while ago, and now she's learning to do daycare things. Got a bunch of e-collars. Next stop, Apple Store then Columbus. All right, officially driving to Columbus. Later start than I wanted to. Had to get a ton of things done, but we're on the road. Off on the side of the highway, we had a piece of metal come flying off of a truck. We thought it was maybe that truck. Picked this car up from the body shop like two hours ago. His, he said he didn't really see a whole lot of damage. Mine's got, you can see there, all this, and then a little bit down here. Yeah. 
it was either them or somebody else because it just came flying up. I thought it was going to hit my windshield. Now with that, I am way, way late to Columbus. That took way too much of my time up, so I had to cancel a few of my lessons. I had to move a couple of them, but I'm still headed there and I will be there shortly. So this next lesson that I'm headed to here is a follow-up session with a board and train that just went home, Jetta. She's a really awesome German Shepherd that we worked with at the facility, um, and I'm really excited to see how she's doing. <laughs> Really fantastic lesson with Jetta. Super happy how she's turning out. Really, really happy that our owners are putting in the work. Now I'm off to uh, the Columbus facility for a couple more lessons and then headed back to Cleveland. This is not good. And I have a flat tire. Fun stuff. This day is not going very well. tires put on here we're good to go there this leads me to a couple conversations here first off being yes today has sucked so far missed about 75% of my lessons due to both of the above at this point but this brings a really really important conversation up about facing adversity and gratitude there's a couple ways to look at this. The first, and the one that you're most susceptible to, and the one that I was the most susceptible to facing is anger, frustration. Yes, I'm pissed I missed my lessons. I'm pissed that I now need to dump more money into getting my car fixed after I just got it out of the body shop already. I'm grateful and I'm lucky that nothing worse happened. A piece of metal that flew out of that truck and hit my car could have smashed my windshield. It could have caused me to crash. Today is a hard day that is not every day. It's a random day, and yes, a couple of things piled up on it today. Tomorrow, I will have the tire fixed. I will have it booked to get back in the body shop again to get these scratches fixed, and then it'll be fine. So, with that being said, I'm headed to the Columbus facility. We're gonna get this lesson in, and then we'll see where we get from there. How old is she? Um, You're a little one. Yeah. You look like a puppy still. Oof. Very strong too. Determined. Like I will sniff that spot. My day in Columbus is over. I'm about to head back to Cleveland. It's been a rough one. So that being said, one last cool thing to show everybody with our Columbus facility before I head out and back to Cleveland, we got our fence installed. So we're gonna go check that out. All right, it's K9. Look at this new fence here. Beautiful. Really excited. We have an outdoor area here. We officially have our first, um, we have our first board and trains booked here for the start of November. So that's going to be really, really great. Columbus is coming along great. Really happy about that. So hope everybody's having a great day. I'm about to head back to Cleveland. It's been a really long day. With that, I'm ending the vlog. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,